some people probably don't worry as much about really cleaning everything up as good as I do, but I just want to take it apart, rinse it completely out, get all the old honey out of there, and basically have it just like new, and I'll store it for another month or so before we harvest again. have a Maxent extractor or thinking about getting one this next video may help you a little bit as I harvested honey for the first time last year I didn't find any directions on how to clean it it's kind of a kind of yeah I take it apart to be able to clean it properly and so I just had to kind of figure it out by trial and error so I thought I'd make this video to make it easier for those who might be uh, doing it for the first time if any of you are aware of a video or instructions somewhere that explain how to do it in a better way, if you would please let me know, I would appreciate it. So what I basically do is I take uh, the top, the motor off, and that allows me to take kind of the guts out of the extractor and be able to spray it down really good and clean it uh, very well. So I'm going to get started here and kind of walk you through the process of how I do it. So the first thing we want to do is uh, unscrew and remove this. Uh, Right, this knob right here, this is what we use to tighten down the belt during extraction to speed up the spinner inside the extractor. So we'll take that off. We do that so we can free up the space to be able to lift the cover off. Then we want to do these two bolts right here. So that we could just so we can get the cover off. Now we remove the cover. So as you can see here, we have a belt system. We've got two belts, and once again, when you screw this knob down, it tightens it up, and so it grabs and it just spins the the uh, rack in there faster. So the next step is we've got to try to remove. We've got to try to get this mechanism off of the extractor. So here's where it gets a little bit tricky. We need to remove this piece, this entire bar right here that has the motor attached to it. Now you don't need to remove these posts right here. These are mainly just there to hold the cover on. But you need to remove um, these four bolts right here, those two over there. It's a little tricky right here because there's not a lot of space under there, as you can see, to get your wrenches and stuff up in there. Plus, it's, it's a long distance um, from the bottom of this metal plate right here up. So, you know, you can, do, you can figure that out. If you have an extension, that would work great. The other thing is, if you look right here, there's a key. If you look right here, there's a key that holds this in place. And so that's kind of tricky as well. Um, so we're going to try and get this thing uh, figured out here, get it off. You really want the belt, the belts to be released and this black, you have to release the belts in order to get them off the motor. And this piece right here is attached to the rod that goes down into the rack inside. So you have to remove this as well. There's also, there are also a couple of Allen wrenches down there, Allen slots. And I believe, if I remember right, the one just above the blue is the one we have to loosen up because that one I think is tapped into the key and kind of holds it in place. One of those two right there um, does that. So in order to get the belt off, you have to loosen that up to get it out. So the whole idea here is to get this top rack off, the black rack. The extractor is so big it's difficult to get to the doors, so I also will probably have to remove the legs which is very simple um, before we take it outside and spray it down. So first of all, first of all we get these two off. These two are simple. The ones on the far side not so much. I'm not the best mechanic in the world or the best um, with tools, so you, many of you may have a better way to 
or an easier way to do all this, but this is just kind of how I do it. So we got this one loosened up. It's got a little bit of play to it. All right, the uh, got my extension set up here. This is actually an 11 millimeter socket wrench and it's an extension. It's pretty awkward to get up in here to get this off, so I gotta just be real careful. What I usually end up doing is, of course my neighbor cranked up the lawnmower. So I hope with the mic you can hear me okay. And once it's loose, pretty much just do this and get it out. This is more tricky getting it put back on than it is taking it off. It's hard to get it all lined up to do that. Because of that reason right there. The nuts and washers just want to fall off. Let's get on not the best. I'm not the tool expert. As you watch this video, if you have any comments or ideas about how I can do this better, or if any of you have this set up and there's a different way to do it, let me know. Some people probably don't worry as much about cleaning everything up as good as I do but I just want to take it apart rinse it completely out get all the old honey out of there and basically have it just like new and I'll store it for another month or so before we harvest again okay, that was a little smoother that time okay, let's pull these out of here Okay, so we got that part of it done. Now with the bolts out of here and the other end down there, this thing will lift up, but the whole thing moves, the whole rack inside. So what we got to do is remove the belt off of there, this belt system. And then it also will disconnect from the rod. It goes down into the rack. And so that's the next step. Once we do that, then the motor will come off along with the belt system. And we can easily remove the rack, the legs, and the tank and take it out and spray it down. Now what we have is we have this belt system once again that's connected by a key right here that keeps it spinning here and down to that rod. So we got to remove, there's an Allen wrench, uh, a little bolt or a little screw down in there that we need to release, we need to loosen up so we can pull that key out and when we do that it will allow us to pull the, um, pull that belt off. I hope you can hear with that mower in the background, my neighbor decided to mow his grass right now, over there. So I've got that loose. I don't want to unscrew it all the way. We don't want to lose that little screw, but once we do that, I just got to pull this key out like that. So there's the key right there. Okay. Now the key's out. We should be able to remove the belt system like this. See how that's it? Got the key goes in there there so set that off to the side and now we got to get the motor and this this black rack here removed so the re in order to do that we have we have to loosen up these three allen wrenches right here because they're attached to that rod let me do that real quick of course, they're a different size, which would be the case. Just gotta get them loose, loose enough to. Okay, so now I've got the right size. We're gonna loosen those up a little bit. Oops, it fell down into place. 
Actually, there's just two of those. Once those are loosened up, this just pulls up off the rod. Now I'm over on this other side, so you can see it'll just lift up. Motor lifts up and comes right off. So now we're ready to go. We just need to, I'm going to remove the leg so I can get it through the door. And this rack will just pull right out. So this is where it was attached to the rod. There's the motor there. The belts. And here's the spinning rack inside. Of course it's crooked because it doesn't have the stability above. Um, I'm going to lift this up and show you how it just lifts right out now. It's very heavy duty though. If you look in here, you can see that this is a very well-built extractor. Uh, I think it's been made of the best of materials. Very heavy duty and very heavy, to say the least. So it spins down there. Now there is a ball bearing underneath this that you got to be sure you don't lose. Let me show you. It's a ball bearing down there in that uh, section. Looks like it's supposed to be maintained with a grease gun there. I've never done that. I'm not sure what kind of grease to use. But haven't had any issues at this point. It seems to have worked fine for the semi from the factory. So what I'm going to do now, I've already kind of removed the rack. I'm going to set it down there again for a minute. we got room for 20 frames in here, and it works so well. So I'm just going to take the legs off. That's pretty self-explanatory. You just have the bolts right here and on the outside for the legs, one on the top and one on the bottom. And let me do that, and we're going to get it taken apart and get it washed out outside. So you see the tank here. We've got it taken apart. There's the inside. It's really well built. See the ball bearing down in there? Got to get it sprayed out. Just going to spray it down with a the hose. There's the rack. I'll spray it down as well. And I'll take it back in and get it put together. Hopefully this has been helpful for you, informational, especially if you uh, have this particular extractor because I just didn't have any directions anymore on how to do this and I just wanted to do something that may help some people out. On to the next video.